back in September of 2017, I purchased this Sightmark Red Dot clearanced at Walmart for like $44 out the door with tax and everything. And about two months ago, I had it at the range and was shooting it on uh, a gun. And when I went to hit the switch, I noticed that the there was a crack in the power switch area, which is just a plastic piece on the back of it. So I didn't do anything for a while. I, I think I may have posted a video about it. I had a couple suggestions. I ought to uh, contact Sightmark and just didn't. And here recently when I was going through stuff in my, uh, my, my gun safe, I pulled out that, that red dot and it kind of hit me that I never did anything with it. So uh, June 13th, I contacted Sightmark, sent them an email. Uh, they responded very quickly and uh, I think I did it at the start of the day. I would say by 8.45 they put in a request for uh, more information on what was wrong with it and that they would get back to me. I sent them uh, an email and attached both my receipt and a, a picture of the issue with it. Um, within 24 hours they contacted me back and they gave me a uh, RA number and information on what to do to ship it. So I did and surprise when I got to the post office yesterday 14 days after putting it in the mail I didn't get it back they sent me a new one now the original site mark uh, red dot was a let's see it was just the the regu regular site mark mini dot mini shot uh, and it was fine. It worked well. I was just playing around with it on the uh, Walther P22Q and seeing what shooting with red dots was like. Uh, it, it worked well. It, it held zero. It just had that issue with that plastic piece. So instead of sending me that back fixed, they just sent me the, this is the Mini Shot uh, Pro series. So the same thing, just improved and newer. Of course, everything that comes in the box, the warranty card, and the instruction manual, extra battery, cleaning cloth, and it did come with this, that's a high-rise adapter for it. I don't plan on putting this on a, a rifle, but it's kind of nice to get that along with it, and of course some tools. It's got the screwdriver in here. The screwdriver is used to adjust things on there. And then the new Mini Shot Pro. And I can tell you, I did open this up yesterday. I just want to do a video and kind of give them props for such a great and fast response and, and a, an excellent solution to the problem. It is slightly different. Again, I will post up here the picture of the old one. It does have this kind of protective frame, the aluminum projected. The on-off switch is a little bit more simple. There is no plastic anymore. Looks like both the windage and elevation adjustments are, are easier and instead of having to have a little plastic dial thing that you put on the screwdriver, it's actually got the, the points on there. Um, the on-off switch is, is easy. It's just a simple rubberized push button. And let's see if I can get that to show up in here. Yeah, you can see the uh, dot. And of course, with different pushes of the button, it will adjust the intensity. I believe what it came on with was probably the highest setting. And then it cycles through that. Looks like it may have one more fine setting. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then hold it down and it turns it back off. So props to uh, Sightmark. Pretty impressed with their, their customer service uh, for, for a budget line of optics. 
course, I just added several of those other uh, pro op optics that, that I've purchased when they were on clearance price also. But, uh, you know, I know Coda Boy 32 has done a lot of testing with a lot of their different scopes and, and uh, reflex and, and other red dot optics. And uh, what got me interested in just purchasing this was seeing how they worked on a, on a handgun and then, you know, getting in with something that was a budget. So anyway uh, thanks to them and thanks for watching and again a big thumbs up to Sightmark for rapid response and customer service thank you Three, two, one.